Welcome back, everybody, to Scarlet Deer Inn. I am the preacher. And, uh, man, I got to tell you, I'm looking over here at the right-hand side. This is Scarlet Deer Inn, by the way. I'm looking over at the monitor on my computer. You can't see it. Um, I, in fact, I don't think there's a key for me to switch it over there. But I'm getting, right now, I'm getting, like, 9, 900 frames a minute. Or a second, I'm sorry. Nine, yeah. Yeah, 1,032 FPS, 840 FPS. So, I mean, it's just a... It's just a basic menu screen here, but look at the artwork on this lovely, lovely game. Let's get it started. We're going to be in English. I guess I can take over right away. Oh, I can. Okay, listen to this. Okay, sound design. You can hear the boards creaking. Um, I don't remember... Did she say A? No. Oh, that's Crouch. Why is Crouch? Or get ready for action, right? And that's run. Okay, so uh, left stick plus the right trigger is run. And we got the little boy sitting here. I guess there's no jump yet. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, nope. Demo not final quality. We can see that. This is, by the way, can we come over here to the dark? We can see it's... Version 0 0.035. Looking forward to what they develop. Let's get started. X. <laughs> Sniff. What's the matter with you, Jimmy? <laughs> Sniff. Well, she... Bridget took horrors from me again. <laughs> Sniff. And where is he? I'm not going to remember these voices. I will do my best. And where is he? Sniff. Up there. Wait. I, I will save him. Up there. Oh, that's Horace. Here you are. No. Here you are, Horace. I'm going to have trouble with this. Oh. Oh. Inventory. Um, Looking at the button here on the right. Up. Inventory. Close. Can we do anything in inventory? Exit to menu. Close. Just go to inventory. That's all we can do. Okay. Oh, and look at the map with the left hand button. Um, ba -ba -ba -bom -bom -bom. you can see my little arrow where I am. Well, that's cute. I really like the hand drawn aspect. I really, really do. I hope they don't change this into something that looks gaudy. This looks perfect for the game. All right. Um, can I... Here you go. He's all right, but you have to look after him more. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Sniff. Aw. All right. Gee up. Gee up. <laughs> Love it. Ah. Uh, okay. Are you feeling... <clears throat> I don't know what kind of... Are you feeling better, Madame Elise? I am. I will go visit Madame Dorothy to see if she's done with the tunic for Bridget. Oh, be sure to bring her a bottle from the cellar. You know she's partial to that. Hmm. Thank you so much for helping me with the inn. No prop. <clears throat> no problem, Madame Elise. I'm bad with the voices, sorry. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta go to the cellar somehow. Before I go out, is the cellar over here? Oh, maybe. And how far is it? I don't know. I've never been th I see, I see. And how big is an elephant? The parson showed me a picture of an elephant and told me it's bigger than a horse. Well, but how big is an elephant's horseshoe? I don't even know what an elephant is. I see, I see. And how many pirates have you killed at sea? My dear girl, I've never even seen a... S I see, I see. And how sharp is your sword? Well, that's no toy for a... Let me try. Bridget. Enough. Don't bother our guests. Oh, I don't mind. She's just a tad curious. 
Well, that's mighty kind of you, sir. Don't bother our guests all the time. I'm not bothering anyone, Mom. Do you enjoy your meal? It is excellent. Okay. I'm sorry. Is Bridget bothering you too much? Oh, no. She's just curious. Aren't you tired of her yet? <laughs> well, I would like to finish the meal before it gets cold. Bridget, let the kind sir enjoy his meal in peace. And go clean the tables. Oh, uh, voice, voices. Oh, well. I'm going already. Uh huh. Bridget, I told you not to bother our guests all the time. Go clean the tables right now. I'm going already. I'm sorry. No problem. All right, is this, is this concluded? I have to bring the wine. Uh, that was her thinking to herself, I think. Have we seen the wine? Oh, maybe this is the cellar here. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. All kinds of things, but no wine or mead. I should finally remember where things are at. Only some ingredients for the kitchen. No bottles here. What's over? Oh, no! Here's the good stuff. We've got some excellent stuff here. But perhaps I could bring some plonk instead. Plonk? I'll bet that translates somehow. The neighbor won't tell the difference anyhow. Anyway. Hmm. What should I bring? Mead, the scarlet deer? Or wine, the sly slug? Ooh. Um, true story. I have made mead in the past. It's called bow-legged turtle, and it'll bite you. Uh, I have also made wine. Um, let's see here. Mead, the scarlet deer. Let's bring her some mead. I hope she can appreciate such good mead. Wow. Look at her face. She does not seem happy. All right. So do I have it then? I have it. All right. All right, that's the end of, that's the end of it. Bum, 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 we're slogging through the dark. And what else we got? Oh, okay, well, we're bringing her the good stuff. All right, good stuff it is. So there's not a, there's not always a prompt. You know, there's like no X prompt to go in the door. You just have to kind of know that that's what you do. And yet there was an X prompt. I kind of liked it. Let's look at it again. There was an X prompt above the, each shelf. You know, hey, you could do something here. Can you do something here? No. So, I don't want anything here. Okay. So, I like how they've included the little self-talk answers to what's going on, right? Okay. Good. Well, we did all that. Let's get out of here. And now we get to go to the neighbor's house. And what does she say? Anything? Do you need anything else, Madam Elise? I think she was a little gruffer, but I don't remember. No, thank you. Okay, well, that's cool. Nope, not there. Sorry, wrong door. Uh, yes, I'm not going to continue to make the same mistake over and over and over again. Am I? Yeah, you know I am. Uh, Bridget. Bridget! I told you to leave him alone. Go clean the tables right now. I'm going already. She's not gone. Mom! Where are you going? Can I come with you? Stay at home. I just have to fetch something from the neighbor. I thought it was for the neighbor. Yay! You're going for my present, aren't you? Didn't I say something about cleaning the tables? I'm going already. Hmm. Each of these need a particularly different voice. And I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the map here real quick. Now, yeah, there's no real indication for where Bridget is. Oh, the goose. Can you, can you pet the goose? You can't pet the goose. Aw, oh, come on, guys. You gotta be able to pet the goose. Eva, let me pet the goose, please. I don't have the time to go down to the river. All right. Let's go down to the river, down to the river. Oh, you could pet this goose? God. Oh, isn't that cute? It's cute. I love this. Is this where I'm going? Okay, I hit the uh, X to go in there. Okay, is this the lady? Oh, look at she's embroidering. 
Hello. Hello, Elise. I just wanted to ask if you're done with the tunic for Bridget. I was hoping she could bring it to the fair. Oh, goodness, of course. I'm just finishing it. It's a very nice embroidery. Although, it was very difficult. My fingers aren't what they used to be anymore. I brought you a small gift, at least. I'm sorry. Say nothing. I brought you a small gift, at least. Hmm. The Scarlet Deer. It's that meat of yours, isn't it? Yes. The best we have. Oh, well, my son, he's a doctor, you know, in the town. He always sends me only the best mead. Hmm. But it's kind of you. Someone will be glad to take that good mead. I will think of something. Look at the letters swinging. So that was our choice. That was our choice. Um, I, I, so I wonder if that would have said that mediocre mead or something like that if we would picked something different, huh? She's just going to stay silent. Anyway, where were we? Did you say the tunic would be ready soon? I sure did. Just a last couple of stitches and you can take it with you. I was just thinking, before I finish, would you be so kind and... Help me carry those sheaves over there to the stable. You see, Frank, a really nice lad, gave them to me, but he just left them over there, the scoundrel. How could I, a poor one, old woman, manage to bring them to the stable all by myself? You see, Frank is really nice, but he's not the brightest. <laughs> Would you be so kind? Gladly. All right, that's cool. Okay, well, we're going to pick one up. And run it over. I don't think I get to pick up both. And I'm guessing this is the stable into which we go. Yes. Is that what she meant? I don't know. Okay, you cannot run with baggage in your hand. All right. So is that what we wanted to do? Let me see. Can I go in? Lord knows what she's got in there. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that what you wanted? Done. The hay is put away. Very kind of you. Thank you. Is the tunic ready yet? Of course it is. Just a last couple of stitches. Bridget will be the most beautiful young lady at the fair in the whole town. You have to show her off to my son when you're there. He's a doctor, you know. And he's got his own apothecary. Oh, that's cool. In the town. This really is a nice embroidery. A bit difficult, but very nice. Certainly worth the effort. Hmm. It just came to me, Elise. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't make you do that. Hmm. What is it? Well... If you insist, I mean, just before I finish the embroidery, could you go see Charles the beekeeper? He's supposed to send me some meat. Meat from a beekeeper? Oh, well. You really are very kind. I mean, Charles makes good meat. Certainly the best around here. Perhaps he could give you some advice. We do all have to help one another, after all. Oh, one more thing, since you're going to the village anyway. Go see Otto, the winemaker. His wife, Lucy, is supposed to send me something as well. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Bring them these cakes Anna gave them to me. They will know. Uh, one more thing. The middle piece is for Otto, the winemaker. He hates the crunchy corners. It's all the same to Charles, the beekeeper, so he won't mind the burnt crust. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll be back. I'm finishing the last couple of stitches. The tunic will be ready before you return. Mm, such a nice embroidery. Oh, golly. Okay, so we got some cake, and the middle part goes to uh, who? Oh, golly. Uh, the winemaker, I think, is who that goes to. 
Bonfal. A piece of cake from the neighbor, a middle piece. I hear Otto the winemaker likes these. A piece of cake from the neighbor, a quarter piece, and a bit burnt too. Charles the beekeeper is supposed to get this one. Allegedly, he won't mind. All right. Well, we'll close that and uh, head back out. But now I don't know how to get uh, where I need to go. Okay, so this is very interesting. So I'm supposed to go to town. Does that mean somewhere where I am right now? Huh. Or does that mean far to the left? See, I don't know. There's no sign here indicating Otto the beekeeper. Uh-oh. Hi, Elise. Hi, Hannah. All right, we're done with that. I have no business there. Okay. Elise! What's the matter? Hello, Elise. Hi, Mark. What do you need? Uh, I just... I wanted to thank you again for all the food for our dad. Not at all. There's always something in the kitchen. Anything else? I'm kind of sweet on you. Well, I just... If you want help with anything, just say the word. Thank you, that's nice. But that's no reason to yell all over the village. Oh, she embarrassed him. Hello, Elise. Hi, Mark. Okay, she's she's embarrassed him. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, okay. I can't go in the can't go in the door. Hello, boys. Hello, nippers. <laughs> nippers. We're no nippers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? We're catching slugs. Yeah. There's so much of them after the rain. And we have to hurry for the geese eat them all. Yeah. Okay. And what do you need them for? That's a secret. Yeah. So what about those slugs? Have you got enough of them yet? You can never have enough slugs. Yeah. So have you got enough of them yet? You can never have enough slugs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they're going to be doing that. Can I pet you? I cannot pet you. Oh, I can pet that one. Good. All right. I don't need anything there now. Okay, so where am I going, though? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain. Do I go left or right? Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Elise. Uh, okay. I don't need anything there now. You stinking beast. I swear, if you don't move, I'll make sausages out of you, I tell you. What's happening over there? Hello. That stinker won't move. He hates the puddles on the road. Darn it. And he has to stop right on the bridge. <laughs> you know, I like the um, motion in the letters that just kind of indicate that that is where the emphasis of uh, the complaining is at. And he has to stop right on the bridge. Of all places. I've really had it. That's wonderful. My word. How am I supposed to get to the forest to see the beekeeper now? <laughs> Still nothing? He won't move. Dang him. Hello there, donkey. Pet the donkey. <laughs> okay. What a donkey. Good thing you're pretty. That wagon has completely blocked the bridge. The beekeeper won't get his cake just yet. Mm, so I gotta find some way to move that. I don't need anything there. How about we have a hello Elise? Okay, we're just we're just chatting her up. Anything here? I don't need anything there now. Alright, how about slug boys? So, have you got enough of them yet? Uh yeah. Alright. Nope. No, come on, back up. Oh, you can't get out of the conversation either. There's no way to do that. Uh, feel like killing a donkey? All right. 
Oh, we're gonna go this way into town. Um, alright, what's... Hmm. So now... Yeah, we're going up that street, I guess. I have no business there. Do you need something? Hmm. Maybe. Hello, Mary. Hello, Elise. Nope, we're just, we're just gonna move it on. Okay, moving on. Okay, we could go... We could go in there. What's in here? We don't have the time for that. Or for anything. Hello, Father. God bless you, Elise. It's so nice around here. Father, whatever are you teaching my Bridget? Okay, let's go there. What do you mean? Well, she keeps asking our guests about all kinds of strange things. What kind of strange things? Well, a while ago, when I was leaving, she kept bothering Ulrich, who delivers goods to the castle. She asks him about some strange animals, faraway lands and whatnot. My word, the poor Ulrich has never gone farther than the town in his life, and a stone's throw away from the castle. Exactly. She's seen some drawings of exotic things in my books. I see. Well, I hope she won't get all confused because of that. Don't you worry about her, Elise. She is cunning. The most She most certainly is. All right, that's, that's I guess, nice. Is there anything? Nope. Okay, let's just run by. I I have to say, I love the animation. I really do. I think it's very... Is there any reason to go in? I guess she can't go in there, right? Yeah, okay. Don't have time for that. I like the animation style. It's very unique. And I'm enjoying... They want you clearly to learn the landscape organically, which I can totally get behind. I just don't know where I'm going. I can't go across the bridge. Oh, and I can't... Can I point with my mouse? I cannot point with my mouse. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, up, there we go. Hello? Hmm. I'm bringing you a cake from Madam... Oh, who is this? How... Listen. Let's start with how are you. Hmm. Look, do you need something... I'm busy. Is your wife here? What for? I'm bringing here a cake from Madame Dorothy. Just want to ask her something. Well, I guess we're bringing a cake. Maybe? Is this Otto? I don't know. Why? What does the hag want from her now? She's bothered us enough as it is. Hmm. I don't know where she's roving at now. And I don't even care. She visits the parson all the time, blathering about some nonsense. If she's not at the cemetery, then I've got no idea. Then leave me alone. I don't have the whole day for you. Well, thank you. Mm. All right, just stick your head back in the barrel. Um, a barrel maker. Uh, Cooper? A Cooper. Is he a Cooper? Let's go and see if... Hey! What are you looking for over there? Uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't I don't have the time to traipse in the meadow. I'm not planning on... I'm not planning on traipsing in the meadow. Alright, I guess we're going back this way then. Since I can't go traipsing, I'm gonna go... Well, you know, let's go see if she's in the graveyard. I mean, she wasn't just a minute ago. But maybe she is now? We'll just run by. Here's the graveyard. She's not here. Let's run away. All right. Thank you, Father. Merry Christmas. Have a good day. Okay. You can, and so you can't just run up to the exit. You have to hit X. That is something I'm noticing now. Anything? Hello, Elise. Hi, Mary. All right. So... No business there. Okay. Keep running. I have to find Lucy first. I can't get to Charles the Beekeeper just yet because of the block bridge. Okay, so Lucy is somewhere this way? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go this way. I have to find Lucy first. Okay. Well, do you need something? I need Lucy. Uh, do you get any Lucys? No, no Lucys. All right, fine. We'll just run by. 
Keep on going. Bye. Hey! What are you looking for over there? Nothing. Can I traipse in the meadow? No! Okay, I don't have time to traipse in the meadow. Nothing. I can't go in there. There's not a reason to go. I guess I can talk to the uh, priest again and see. Or the monk. Or the whatever. Do you happen to know where Lucy is? May I know why you're looking for her? I'm supposed to fetch something for Madame Dorothy from her, but she's not at home. And her husband wasn't of much help. I see. Otto and Lucy have it tough right now. And he's not coping with it well. He has been drinking too much as of late, for my taste. Hmm. Anyway, if Lucy is not at home, she will be in the birch grove near the forest. The birch grove? Well, you know, there used to be a pagan shrine in the olden days there. And she goes there to ask the woodland spirits for help. At least, that is what she tells me. Hmm. I tried to explain it is blasphemy, but she would have none of it. She says that if God existed, he would not allow such suffering. Hmm. Enough talk about such things. Huh? Where can I find the grove? I'm still rather new to the area. Boy, aren't you telling me the truth. A path goes there, just to the left, around the cemetery wall. Just to the left, around the cemetery wall. You cannot miss it. You overestimate my capacity to miss things. God bless you, Elise. All right. So, na... Oliver! Wait. Oliver. I miss you, my love. Catherine, the seamstress. Catherine, the seamstress. Henry. Henry. Catherine, the seamstress. I miss you, my love. Oliver. Well, I am, uh, I'm sorry about Oliver. Gotta go to the left, huh? I mean, I tried, and you wouldn't let me do it earlier. So does that mean now I can? Like, right here? Yeah. Okay. Had to kind of unlock that. Let's look at the map and see where we're going. Okay, we're going to the grove out here. Hello, sheepy. Can I pet the sheepy? I can pet the sheepy. Pop, pop. Okay. Bah. Bah. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. It's so cute. I like the art style. I like this game. I am so far having a lot of fun just poking around. Oh, hello there. I'm glad I could find you. Madam Dorothy sends me. I have some cake for your husband. And I hear you have something for her. That's true. I want her to embroider something nice on a shirt for Georgie. For the fair in the town. Mm. But he is... Georgie is all right. I know it. But we have to go back to our place. I don't have the shirt on me. Wait, how did you find me here anyway? Nobody comes here except for me. My husband doesn't know about this place either, I hope. Well, he wasn't of much help, honestly. Or, uh, well, he wasn't of much help, honestly. Father John told me. I see. Well, he's the only one I can confide everything to. I see. Oh well, let's head back to the village. Here's the shirt for Madame Dorothy. And didn't you say she sent a cake for my husband? Yes, I almost forgot. Uh, uh, Otto wanted the middle piece, correct? Am I correct? I think I'm correct. Yes. She says your husband hates the crunchy crust. He hates everything lately. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lucy. But please tell her he says thanks. All right. Take care, Lucy. You too, Elise. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I wish I could encourage. Hello, Elise. Do, do you need something else? 
No, apparently not. Okay. So where are we at now? Okay. So we keep on... Keep on peeking. Mm, do I say anything to him? Hmm. Okay, I guess we don't. Should I say something to the priest? Let's take a look around here real quick. She's running as it is right now, so that's interesting. Yes? Hello? To you as well, my child. Okay. Not not much help, but uh, away we go. We'll uh, probably come back to the church later. Do I need to go back to the... Nope, can't, can't go back. What about frolicking in the meadow? Is there any... Nope, I don't have time to frolic in the meadow. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Lots of back and forth. It's okay. I don't mind it so much. Hello, Elise. Uh, was this on? I have no business there yet. Okay. And X to leave this little side street. And go this way. I still have to see Charles the Beekeeper. Yes, I know, but can we go? Oh, hello there, donkey boy. How did you manage to get the mangy beast off the bridge? Don't even ask. I had to sweep the water away of every puddle on the road. He got stuck here now, but still better than blocking the bridge. I'll show him. If we ever get home. <laughs> Stubborn donkey. Good thing you're pretty. That's what people say about me all the time. It's a good thing I'm pretty. Little uh, little pet the little pet the goose there. Um, is this a place I wanted to go? I don't think so. No, I think I've got to go now. Hello, hello, ladies. Oh, the slug boys. There are more slugs here by the water. Yeah. So, have you got enough of them yet? You can never have enough slugs. Yeah! I love these guys. All right, let's go to the beekeeper. And we'll take a peek at the map. It, I, the loading screens aren't bad. I'm not really irritated by them. I can see the road that we're on here. And the bees. Hello there, bees. Yep. I like the beehives. My neighbor raises bees. They don't quite look like that. Hello! I guess he's not here. But there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Someone has to be home. I mean, maybe. Hello! Nothing. Wait. It sounds like someone's in the cellar. That looks like a cellar door to me. It is like a cellar door to me. Uh, a lot of mead. Nothing but mead. I wonder if his is truly better. Uh, what? Hello? Uh, can't do anything. She's walking on her own now. This is a uh, cutscene? Ooh, ice. Ice? A lot of ice? Hello? Uh, what? My gosh! Oh no! I have to get out of here. Things are not going well. Uh, all of a sudden? Um, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, and she fell. <gasps> oh my. Oh my, indeed. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. 
But this is where I'm going to leave you. This is so far looking like a pretty fun game. I like the music. I like the fact. I like the animation style. I don't even mind so far that I really don't know my way around town. It feels real. She's new to the area. But she seems to know the names of the people, so that's interesting. I'm going to try and work that out in my brain just a little bit. But we'll do some more of that the next time. For right now, I'm the Preacher, and this is Scarlet Deer Inn. I will see you the next time.